On many occasions during the 70s, Coventry came face to face with their West Midlands rivals. None more so than here in March of 1978, when the passion of a derby meeting with Birmingham City threatened to spill over. Terry Yarth trying to refeed it to him, and he's got the pace to get there ahead of Calderwood. Yes, first goal of the game, Ferguson. What a sensational start! One nothing, Ferguson. Well, that must have been inside 30 seconds. Green laying it in to Terry Yarth. Yara, Terry Yara feeding it on down the line. Green outstripping Calder with a low cross. And Ferguson nicks it in on the near post. And still Coventry unable to increase the margin on that uh, goal scored by Mick Ferguson in 29 seconds. Green. Green's getting one in the back. Free kick to Coventry. They want some treatment. Green clearly in uh, quite considerable pain. Real pain. Where well, they're holding his ankles together. It really does look very, really, very serious. So physio George Dalton really does consider that this is uh, this is serious. Linesman and referee conferring as to exactly what happened. From the moment that uh, George Dalton started to hold both Green's ankles together, it really did look as though there might be a break, because he certainly was in terrible pain. Terry Orrath, grim-faced. Well, this really is a sad sight for Coventry fans. Little Alan Green, only two games he's played this season, comes in today for Nadiello, has a foot in the setting up of that fine goal for Ferguson, now here being stretched away and it looks very much as though he's going to play no further part in this and a card a card came out in fact for Tony Towers while our attention was focused on Green coming off the field Jim Holton under this Yorath helps it away Hutchison Yorath Nice ball, good run by Roberts. The look in, aiming for Ferguson. That's a particularly good ball for him. Now McDonald, though. A Yarath. McDonald curling it for Wallace. Down McDonald. For the cross, Ferguson trying to get far post. Hutchison. Ferguson! He didn't know he'd done it! Unbelievable! Mick Ferguson scores his second goal of the game. And he really didn't know it had happened. 35 minutes gone. 2-0. Ferguson's got them both. Well, it really was quite remarkable. The ball knocked across to the far post. Everybody stopped for a moment. Hutchison tried a snapshot. Ferguson with his back to the ball, suddenly realised it was coming down behind him, turned round, toe poked it in, thought he might have been offside, it wasn't, it's 2-0. A certain amount of aggro building up out on the park now. Matching that out on the terraces. Is the free kick, Wallace didn't get there, and stabbed over the bar by McDonald. That's Wallace and, and Howard, and Wallace is dragged away by referee Alf Gray. And a yellow card for Wallace. The incident happening as the ball comes curling across. One or two squaring up to each other. Howard went down. Wallace looked as though he might have trodden on the Birmingham City player. Well, uh, Pat Howard really is in a lot of trouble there. That looks like a very, very serious cut. Good head. Ferguson. 
to McDonald. Early ball on. Back to McDonald again. Well, cut out by Calderwood. Yoroth in. Won it so simply. Beck calling for it. Drives it. Beautiful goal. Measured to perfection. 3 0 Coventry City. John Beck's second goal of the season. Came on as a substitute against West Bromwich Albion and scored last week. Come on as a substitute here and scored against Birmingham City. All started when Terry Yorath won that ball so simply from Tony Towers. He had so many opportunities open to him. He laid it off to John Beck. Beck measured the angles, delivered the shot with absolute precision. Beck to Wallace. And another throw into Coventry. Need Hutchison over here to uh, one of the long ones in Beck. Missed by Towers. Ferguson. Yes! That's his hat trick. Good Ferguson. That's his third hat trick of the season. Manchester City here. Wolves away. And now another hat trick. For Mick Ferguson. The look really was so, so simple. Beautifully flighted ball across the box. And Ferguson up just to give it just a little nick. In inside the far post. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this trip down memory lane. A chance to revisit a golden time of memorable characters, of mouth-watering encounters, of fuzzy sideburns and shaggy perms. And 